I love that for me. I love that for me. I love the juicy lip. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Love, let's be clear. I ain't never took a loss. Every time I go shopping, I ain't gotta check the cost. Still independent, still my own boss. Still got bad bitches coming out they draws. Keep the beat up like a motherfucking Frito. Lucci flame hot like a motherfucking Cheeto. This is not an act, I am not Don Cheeto. Slut a nigga out, treat him like a free code. Yeah, you heard right, I'm a whole ass gangsta. Made him eat my butt, I ain't even say thank ya. What's up, Lucci gang? It's your girl, Lucci V, and welcome back to my channel. I'm back for another Vlogmas entry, and today I am going to be telling you guys my top beauty products, beauty must-haves for the year 2023 going into 2024, but I'm just showing you guys like what were my favorite products that I used this year that I plan on taking into 2024 would be, okay? Um, so if you would like to see and like to know my beauty products that I absolutely love and that I feel like you all need, then stay tuned to this video right here. But first, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, ding, ding, ding. And let's get it. Okay, so just to kick this off, I'm currently wearing, have you guys been seeing all over TikTok that viral bodysuit that's supposed to snatch you in so much? I'm wearing that today, you guys, and just a heads up. First of all, my TikTok is luchi 2 xs I'll put it across the screen if you would like to get this snatch bodysuit i will have it in my tiktok shop so you can get it there this vest is also on my tiktok shop but i will say you guys get like a size or two smaller because you guys i got a size medium i'm tall i'm 5'7 200 pounds you guys i got a size medium and it is not snatching me because it's like like look how much room i have you guys i really could have got a size small so just a heads up you guys it, i could tell that if i would have got my right size it was super snatching me so I definitely will recommend this. It's super comfortable for my tall girlies. It definitely reaches your ankle. You're not flooding or anything like that. But um, yeah, just a heads up, order a size smaller or two sizes smaller because in like Fashion Nova body suits, one pieces like this, I always get a medium because Fashion Nova one pieces for whatever reason run really big. But in their other stuff, I get a large. Um, So I thought maybe like, I didn't know how big or how small this ran. So I was like, okay, I'll get a medium to be sure. Uh -uh, Should have got a small. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into my favorite beauty products for this year that I plan on taking into next year. Okay. So first of all, what do I want to start off with? I have some stuff laid out right here. Okay. First of all, let me start off with this. Okay. You guys, this Tresemme Extra Hold Hairspray 24 Hour Frizz Control. There's up to five levels. This is the number four one. This is a little travel size one. I have had the bigger one before, but this travel size one, you guys, has been so convenient because I can take this on the plane if I'm traveling. I can pop this in my purse for any kind of emergency while I'm out if the wig get the lift or anything like that. Like I know got to be hairspray is like, what everybody says is that girl for the wig installs. You guys, this has been having my wigs melted. Okay. This has been having like, and I will put a link to, um, all of this stuff. Majority of this stuff will be linked in my Amazon shop. Um, which is in my description, unless it is something that is not sold on Amazon, which I will say in the video when I show it, if it's something that's not sold on Amazon, but Baby, this Tresemme Extra Hold hairspray has been melting my wigs better than the Gossipy. They stay on longer. And this travel size, like, is just so convenient. And it's way cheaper than Gossipy. So this is my one of my favorite products. Like, love, love, love this. Like, And I melted my wigs with this before in the past when Gossipy was sold out. And then as soon as Gossipy was available, I ordered me some Gossipy. And I just started using the Gossipy. But... When I went to Atlanta recently, I needed a travel size hairspray because I'm like, you know, I wasn't um checking a bag. I was doing a carry on, carry on. And of course, you have to have something like travel size. So I was like, dang. And I could not find a travel size got to be at my local Walmart. So this was what was available. And baby, this is that girl. OK, period. So let's go on to um, let's go on to a primer. Um, now, um, for reference, you guys, with the things that I'm going to say, as far as like skincare and makeup for references, I do have oily skin. I have oily acne prone skin. Um, so yeah, if you are a dry skin girly or, you know, whatever, then of course what I'm using probably will not be best for you because it's going to dry you out even more. Since I am a oily girl, I need stuff that dries me out. So yeah, if you are oily, oily girly, then these are for you but this primer actually is 
cool for dry skin or oily skin this is the wet and wild impossible primer silicone free silicone free primer that does it all and um i kind of switch between this is kind of dusty because i'll be using it every day but i kind of switch between what primers i use but um I've talked about this before on my channel. My skin is going through some things right now, you guys, because of a birth control that I tried at the beginning of the year. It was my first time ever in my whole entire life trying birth control, the depo shot, and my skin reacted so disgustingly. So my skin is very textured right now. So this is like great for the girls. Like, as you can see, I'm looking real smooth though. You can't even tell, but that's because of this primer. It fills in all my textures. It gives me a really smooth base to apply my makeup. Um, I have not had any breakouts from it. Sometimes I try primers and I instantly break out. Like I had no, any kind of breakouts from this, you guys. And I definitely noticed a difference on how smooth my makeup lays. Like, yeah, you cannot like even in person, like you could barely see texture on me. Of course, um, there is like a smoothing effect on the camera right now. So I look extra flawless, but even in person, you could see some texture when I come close, but you could just see how flawless that base is looking, baby. Like, and this is very affordable. I believe this was like $5. Like no more. I believe it was no more than $5. I, cause I, I don't like. For these little like wet and wow and all that, y'all know wet and wow do not be expensive. Okay. So now let's go on to a concealer I recently started using. And for this concealer, I don't use it to conceal under my eyes. Um, but this is the kimchi the most concealer. And this is supposed to be like, what does it say? This may be called a concealer, but I see it as more as your natural feature enhancer. Conceal, cover, correct, and contour. Never forget those four C's, blah, blah. But anyways, though, it's supposed to be like extremely concealing. And this is what I use. Like, as you can see, like this color is really light. So this is definitely too light to highlight under my eyes. But I do use this to highlight the bridge of my nose because, as you can see, I like that extremely highlighted. So my nose looks very slim. And I love this because my hyperpigmentation, like the acne scars and dark marks that I'm suffering from right now due to the birth control, this, like, super covers it. Like, I'm talking about, like, hello like even though this foundation which i'm going to get to even though this foundation is amazing and super full coverage like this just when i use other foundations like when i use just like my regular drugstore foundations this gets everything covered i put it on and i let it sit for a few minutes to dry down and then i put my foundation on and baby it is flawless this is by kimchi now i don't believe this is available on amazon i actually got this from the tiktok shop and you can get this on my TikTok in the TikTok shop. Okay. So next, let's, well, since I already talked about foundation, let's get into the foundation that I absolutely, absolutely adore. Do anybody know what movie that's from? I'm gonna give y'all a second. Do, 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 do. Y'all, I'm one of them people that just randomly blurred out quotes from movies all day long, but absolutely adore. It takes two with Mary Kate and Ashley. Y'all remember? Y'all remember that movie? Y'all, okay. If you know, you know. But anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to this foundation, baby. If you guys follow Nikki Tutorials, I absolutely love the way she does makeup. I love watching Nikki Tutorials. But Nikki Tutorial raves about this foundation all the time. And I am here to piggyback off of her, baby. Juvia's Place got it on the foundation. like. I don't care. Like some days when I'm just in the house doing some content and I know I'm not going to leave the house or I'm just doing some quick little content. I'm not going to be filming like all day. I will use just a regular drugstore makeup, like a little $10 makeup. Um, you guys have seen, I use the Maybelline fit me, um, stuff like that. Like just regular, but baby, when it's time to step like today, when I'm going to be going outside after this, I'm going out with Sydney star. Oh baby, this is when it's time to eat it up. This you like in, if you are a full coverage girly, like myself, full coverage, like this is literally the most full coverage foundation that I have ever used in my whole entire life, you guys. And I've been wearing makeup 
for like two decades, okay? And this is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. You guys, I am in the color Lagos 240. I've also used another color um, in the past, Gabon. Um, but I just have noticed that this Lagos 240 Gabon was sold out and it was sold out for like three months and I was scraping my last little bit. So I'm like, this was the next color over. And I watched a few YouTube videos of people that were my similar color and they were using this one. So I tried it and it actually matches perfectly. Amazingly. I absolutely love it. You guys like I don't even have to color correct, like to cover my acne scars, and all that. I really don't have to when I'm using this foundation, like at all. Like, and I'm really doing this video because I've been getting so many requests to do more makeup tutorials and all that. And that is what I'm going to start transitioning my channel into. I'm going to be doing way more beauty content since I get asked all the time. So I'm just like going ahead and showing you guys my products. So my girls who are not like makeup girlies right now, who really don't know what they're doing. Like you have an idea. Sorry, y'all. I have not ate anything all day and the iced coffee was just calling my name. For if you don't have an idea of like the products that you need or want to use, like this is cool. Like I said, this is full, super full coverage foundation. And I'm also an oily girl. So the matteness of it, I absolutely love. But I have saw dry skin girlies using that and loving it as well. So um, ooh, I forgot to have this right here. Next, I'm going to get into eyelash glue. Now, for years, this right here, and this is not hair glue this is eyelash glue okay this is the sassy dark salon eyelash glue i have been using this one for years i have swore by this one for probably like the past like five years now i have been using this one and i really i know a lot of girls use like the ardell and all those other ones the ones that start out white and they say they dry clear i never like those i've never like those because they never dry fully clear to me it's always a slight little cast of white or like the clear be like y'all know like that cloudy clear the way I, you, you still be able to see it if you ask me so i've never liked it but you guys recently probably like two months ago i have just switched to this kiss strip lash adhesive with aloe and it is in the color clear they were sold out of the sassy one and i had to just try something and all the reviews on this one were so good yeah i'm never going back to the sassy one again i'm not gonna lie i'm in love with this and even though it is one of the ones that start out white and dry clear it actually does dry clear uh as we can see hello thank you but you guys my lashes do not be going anywhere like my eyes water like um sometimes i see people in the comments like when i do my videos sometimes when i'm talking into the camera i'll like be like blinking a lot as i'm talking but for for you for for you who do not know i've talked about this in the past but i have suffered a damaged nerve behind my eye to my brain so my vision kind of goes in and out throughout the day and at some points of the day my eyes are very 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 sensitive to light and i have to sit in front of multiple lights to get the best lighting for my videos so sometimes when you see me in the videos and i'm talking and i'm like kind of like blinking a lot is because my eyes are like really sensitive to the light but i'm still trying to get the best shot um so yeah sometimes my eyes will be watering and baby that it will not be going anywhere i am in love with this glue i got this off amazon it'll be linked in my amazon storefront um in my description but this is that girl when it comes to the glue and also what i noticed is for those of you who struggle to put your strip lashes on i noticed that whenever i like help people like associates or friends or whatever whenever i help them their main problem is they put too much glue on there and it is so easy to not put too much glue with this little tiny brush because you're just brushing it on there so it's so easy to put the perfect amount of glue so this got me in a chokehold um back to concealers as far as like the under eye concealer you guys i have been using juvia's place concealer for a few years, which I do absolutely love. I still am a big fan of Juvia's Place Concealer because it is super full coverage. Like I like, it's very blendable and all that. But y'all, I'm not gonna lie. A few months ago, I switched back to the old tried and true and they got me in a chokehold again, y'all. LA Girl Pro Conceal, y'all, in the color Fawn. Y'all know this is a 
this has been a classic for a long mother effing time now y'all i just recently switched back to this one i forgot how good this one was like oh how old this is how cheap this is y'all this one is always gonna be a, a goat it's always gonna be a goat holy grail all that like that one is always gonna do what it do now when it comes to la girl pro conceal you guys be careful when you are buying them from places like amazon or the beauty supply because sometimes they will be fake okay i learned that the hard way okay somebody has sent me a fake one and baby it's made me mad okay um next i'm going to get into oh yeah one more product oh wait no two more okay so next i'm going to get into this you guys moisturizer slash sunscreen i'm really focusing on the sunscreen aspect of it because i'm not even gonna lie i did not know for a long time the importance of wearing sunscreen as an african-american or a melanated woman you know kind of growing up it was kind of presented to me that like sunscreen was not for black people we did not need it but we absolutely do and you guys since i've incorporated this different gel oil absorbing moisturizer with sunscreen won't clog pores absorbs excess oil lightweight non-greasy this has just become an everyday thing for me and since i've started incorporating sunscreen i do see an improvement in the dark spots in my skin not only that i love that different one because i've tried a few other sunscreens in the past you guys and i don't know if it's like the oil and sunscreens or i mean i see on that on the bottle it says non-greasy and all of that so it must be some kind of like greasing other sunscreens but when i've tried other sunscreens in the past like literally the first day i put them on my face i'm breaking out disgusting like i that's why i have been avoiding it so i just tried that one on a whim i read some reviews on amazon it was good reviews so i tried that one and it was like okay boom and i absolutely love it and yeah okay um i also want to show one more moisturizer that has been like really helping me um i feel like not only has it been helping my skin but it also has been making my makeup lay better this is the clean and clear dual action moisturizer with salicylic acid acne medication for my acne prone girlies my oily girlies you guys know it's really hard to find a good moisturizer a good you know something to moisturize the face because you don't want to add too much oil because we're already oily but then you know they say when you don't add any kind of oil then you're making it produce more oil anyways i for the oily skin girlies y'all know it is a struggle for us <laughs> ah! but anyways yeah so clean and clear dual action moisturizer i use this first and then i let it set for like maybe like five minutes and then i go in with that different oil absorb oil absorbing moisturizer with the sunscreen all of that and then you guys one more product before i end this video this oh baby this right here has been eating it up eating it up this has been eating it okay no for real though y'all okay so we have saw so many glitter shimmer lip glosses go viral over the years all this and that baby this right here shimmer makeup revolution shimmer bomb this is in the color sparkle i've also had light beam baby do y'all see how sparkly this is like i'm i've been using this to the flow so maybe not but baby the sparkles the sparkles be sparkling i got it on my lip right now i really wanted to i was gonna swatch it but it's like i'm running out so i don't want to waste none but y'all y'all be seeing like there's a brand that goes viral all the time i think it's called queen cosmetics they got this really like glittery lip gloss y'all so the color i wanted from that company was sold out so i was like oh my gosh i need to find a dupe like i'm obsessed with like shimmer glosses glitter glosses y'all i just feel like they make the lips look so much juicier and bigger and like i love that for me i love that for me i love the juicy lip <laughs> but anyways yeah i randomly found this on amazon y'all now it is sold out a lot on amazon but baby, when I catch it, oh, I orders multiple, okay? And I got this for $7. I just looked it up earlier because as you can see, I'm scraping it and I need a new one. I was just looking up and somebody is selling one for like $11 or something. I think people be like hurrying up and buying them because they see it sold out and then they resell it for a little more. I don't care. $11 is still not bad because the other like shimmer glosses that I see are always like $15, $20, $25. And the other lip gloss that I really love that you guys have heard me talk about before is the Buxom 
plumping glosses. Those are about $25 a piece. And my lips are so big. I run through those like water. Okay. So I rather run through seven through $11 like water than $25 like water. I'm not going to lie. y'all. So, um, oh, and before I end this video, you guys setting spray, let me tell you guys something. Now, I don't know if this is for everybody else too, but let me tell y'all for me, y'all. So probably like three months ago, I stopped using setting spray and my makeup has been eating and like literally lasting the whole entire day. Like all I do is I take some very cold water and I put it in a spray bottle and I spray it when I'm done with my makeup. I don't add anything to the water, or anything like that. And literally y'all, my makeup be lasting all night. I don't know the science behind that. But I did a little research and I Googled it or and I looked up some TikToks and I saw some other TikTok girlies saying the same thing. They're like, since they stopped using setting low setting spray, that their makeup be lasting. So I don't know. Give it a try. It may not work for you. It may, you know what I'm saying? I know everybody's face, skin, all that is different. Also, like, you know, it probably has to do with like the type of makeup I'm using as well, too. But give it a try, y'all. Just give it a try one day. You know, uh, uh, even if it's like a day you just in the house, you did your makeup, just give it a try if you don't want to test it going outside. But I'm trying to tell you. They've been getting over on us for all these years. We don't need no set of spray. Okay. But anyway, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my favorite beauty products of 2023 that I plan on taking into 2024. Um, and share this video, you guys. And I hope you guys have been enjoying my Vlogmas content. I've been getting some very encouraging comments about my Vlogmas content. So I really appreciate you guys. And thank you guys for watching.